33 muscles in the face of which have nothing to do with, you know, interacting with the world around you. Their, their sole purpose is to create emotional expression and reveal to the people around you what it is you're thinking and what it is your feeling. I tell you, the first thing that always comes up when we talk about body language and facial expressions is lying. And the second thing is sexual attraction. What lying is about is being able to recognize that the real emotion on their face does not fit the situation. One of my favorite statements that people make is when uh, you know they've either told a story or topics come up and they say, I don't know how I feel about that. And the first thing I think to myself is like, but I do. I know how you feel about that because I saw it all over your face. Body language and attraction, two, two concepts that kind of go hand in hand all the time. And this book really deals with, uh, with relationships, um, particularly as they build towards arguments and in the arguments themselves. I mean, the argument doesn't just start there. An argument doesn't just happen. There's a series of events that uh, lead up to an argument. I think it's interesting that uh, when people talk about body language, you know, they always want to go to the body. What are the hands doing, the arms, you know, spatial differences, different things like that. And, and for a long time, people tended to neglect the face. The, the work of, uh, of Tompkinson and Ekman and some of these other incredible scientists has really helped us realize that, you know, if you want to read someone's emotions, if you want to read what's going on in their mind, you go to the face first. When my book was getting close to its release date, uh, a lot of people would kind of ask me, well, like, who's this book for? Now, as a director, this book is phenomenal. You see, my job is to draw the best, most believable performance out of my actors. I was speaking with a well-known actress, and uh, we were going over some of the points of my book. So as she stood next to me side by side in the mirror and began to show her that expression, the one we were doing was actually sad, and she says, oh, I feel bad for you. Because of that empathic reaction to a genuine emotional expression, we feel it. You know, we see a sad expression, we feel bad, but only if it's genuine. And after I worked with this actress for some time, she turned to me and said, this is better than an acting class. You know, they've, they've never taught me this. They've never shown me what my face should look like. I've always just had to, to kind of make it up on my own. I had a conversation with a artist the, the other day, and in that conversation we were talking about um, emotions and my book, and the topic of uh, raw emotion and social emotion came up, and he turned to me and said, raw emotion, I need to know what that looks like so that when I create emotion in my work, that's what people see, the raw emotion. And uh, for me, that, that, that's something I'd never really thought about, is an artistic approach to the, to the book and, and to reading facial expressions, but it made a lot of sense that he, he wanted to be able to paint and to draw people in a way that expressed the emotions he wanted. And the fact that universal emotional expressions exist and can trigger those emotional reactions in the people around us gave him this incredible tool to use in his work. When I was writing the book, one of the groups of people that I really wanted to help was, was people who deal with business relationships. As anyone knows, whenever you're presenting a project or an idea to a group of people, it's really not about what you're presenting, it's about how you present it. Anything is interesting if you present it in the right way, and anything can be interesting to anyone if you present it in the right way. We decided to go with audio because we wanted to give people the opportunity to observe the faces of the people around them as they were taking in the information. And this is a great product for people who enjoy modern television series like Lie to Me and Criminal Minds that focus on body language and facial expressions. And that's how most of us read emotional expression. We read it based on the situation we're in and the context, which is what makes reading lies difficult because when you're dependent on the situation, you always think the person's face matches the situation because that's what you're using to read emotion. The climax in any movie is dependent on emotional connection. If you don't feel what they feel, then you don't care what happens. That's why you know 
what a scene is about before you even see an actor. Because you hear the music, you know how they want you to feel. This situation, this context that gives us the ability to read emotion is the exact reason background music exists in movies and television. So that's where they got the idea. It's how do we get the people to feel the emotions we want to? Because the actors weren't carrying it across accurately. So they brought in the music. And the music was able to create a strong enough situation that the audience could read into the actors' faces whatever emotions the director wanted. One of the things that we're fighting against all the time is that you know the ending to the story. So what incentive do you have to feel fear or to feel anxiety or to feel any of these emotions when you know the outcome? Now, people watching is one of the great pastimes of just about everybody. We watch people around us, you know, and they catch our interest when they start to do something odd or funny or when they start to be very expressive. And this book gives you so much insight into that activity. You can sit in the park, restaurant, or on campus, and you can read what people are feeling. Now, one of the great companions to this book is the ever-expanding image library. Now, Joseph has taken the time to select hundreds of images and highlights the specific expressions for you as a reference guide. Now, the blog is a great asset. Joseph goes over new movies and popular TV series and isolates genuine and false expressions. If you download the book from the Language of Emotion website, not only is it cheaper, but you get the chapter art as well, which allows you to view the expression on your iPod while you're listening. I, I guess it goes back to my fascination with body language. I've, I've really been curious about body language my entire life, you know. What are, what are people not saying and different things like that? But everything had been kind of vague as to its meaning. It could be, you know, a power dynamic. It could be an attraction thing. When I came across the genuine uh, universal facial expressions, things were more definite. You know, there was a very specific expression that communicated a very specific emotion. You know, one of the really cool things about learning this information is you really learn to see it everywhere how easy it has become to, to see these expressions and know what they mean. You know, if you've ever wanted to read your boss or your wife, even your children, this book allows you to do it accurately. Our body, at a subconscious level, we do, and our body shows it to the whole world. It faces that canvas. You know, every emotion that runs through your body will express itself in the way you breathe, the temperature of your skin, the, the speed of your heart, and the expression of your face.